Good morning, Bay Ridge. I hope you've had a good week. Uh, this past Sunday, we had someone come and speak to us regarding missions. And uh, so I want to take just a brief uh, time to talk to us about the importance of missions. We obviously spend a lot of time and energy and thought and even finances on missions around here. Uh, we have visiting missionaries like this, three, four, sometimes we even had five in a single year, and we give them a lot of time. They don't just stand up and wave. We pretty much devote the entire meeting to it. We give somewhere between 16 to 20 percent of our uh, unrestricted giving that comes into the church goes out to missions every single year. We also take time to pray almost every Sunday for our missionary, and we encourage people to pray every day. So why are we doing all of that? Why are we so uh, involved and engaged and passionate about the work of missions? Well, to put it simply, uh, I, it's because we agree with the quote of John Stott that our God is a missionary God. God is on mission. God is reaching out to people around the globe. And if we want to walk with him and be engaged in the work that he's doing, we need to be engaged in missions as well. We are commanded to make disciples of every nation. Obviously, in the Great Commission, uh, Matthew 28, we're told to make disciples of every nation. In Mark 16, it speaks of uh, preaching the gospel to every creature. There are many verses in the New Testament that tell us to do that. And so if we're going to be obedient children of God, we're going to be engaged in missions. Uh, Revelation 7 assures us that the end result of that is going to be that people from every tribe and language and nation are going to be there on that final day. And so God is calling and working to reach out to those people. And if we're going to be engaged in the mission of God, we're going to be doing the same. Uh, furthermore, we desire to see God receive the glory that he is due. If we've had a glimpse of how awesome God is, of how merciful and gracious God is, we want to see God receiving the glory, the worship, and praise that he is due. It should break the heart of every Christian that there are living, breathing human beings right now not giving God glory and worship. And so our primary motivation is actually for the glory of God. We want to see him receive the glory that he is due. So we are calling people from every nation to come and worship our great God. But the flip side of that coin is we also have compassion for people. There is no other way to be saved. There is no other name under heaven by which men can be saved but the name of Jesus. And there are billions who are perishing without the gospel even right now as we speak. And so if we have compassion on our fellow human beings, we will be praying, we will be giving, we will be personally reaching out, we will be supporting those who are going to other lands. This is why at the end of the day, one of the phrases we've said around here for years is, when it comes to missions work, there's only three types of Christians. There are those who are radical goers, those who are actually called by God to take the gospel to the nations. There are radical senders, those who pray and give and support every way they can, those who are actually going to the nations. And the only other choice is those who are radically disobedient. And friends, we do not want to be among the radically disobedient here at Bay Ridge. We are going to do everything we can to be radical goers and radical senders to help God's word and mission go forth, that he might receive praise and honor and glory, and that people might be called from every tribe and language and nation. And so as we give, as we pray each week, as we're asking you to pray every day, as missionaries come in here, I want to remind us this is why we're doing it. God is a missionary God. And he has called us into the mission with him. That is an incredible privilege for you and for me. I hope you're having a good week. And I will look forward to seeing everybody on Sunday as we come back together to continue our series, Holy Waiting. God bless.